What's up guys, it's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training. Welcome back to another video. And today we're talking about one easy adjustment that you can make to get more hits immediately. I'm telling you, this is a very simple adjustment, but it makes a world of a difference. So I'm excited to share it with you. And really quick, before we get into that, if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we're coming out with brand new baseball videos every single week and I don't want you to miss any of them. So subscribe right now and join the UBT family. Be sure your notifications are turned on. And with that being said, Let's get into this one simple adjustment. So if you've been playing the game of baseball for any length of time, then there's no doubt that you've heard the phrase, play the game one pitch at a time. That's really good advice. Play the game one pitch at a time. And why do you want to do that? Why do you want to play one pitch at a time? Well, the reality is because the present moment is the only thing that you can really control, right? So let's say last pitch, you just swung at a curveball in the dirt. You were fooled, it was a terrible swing, it's a pitch that you shouldn't have swung at, but you did, and you swung at a curveball in the dirt, you swung and missed, right? Well, you can either dwell on what just happened, and you can dwell on the past, even though there's nothing you can do to change the past, or you can focus on the next pitch, you can focus on the here and the now, the present moment. And you're much better off if your focus is there, and so hence the term, play the game one pitch at a time, because good or bad, there's nothing that you can do to change what happened in the past, and there's also nothing that you can do to affect what's gonna happen in the future either. The only thing that you have control over is right now and the present moment. So that's really important to play the game one pitch at a time, and you wanna take that same approach to your at-bats. And so the easy adjustment that you can make is to treat each at-bat as its own entity. Okay, treat each at-bat as its own entity because hitters get into a lot of trouble when they either get way too high or way too low. Okay, they, they ride this emotional roller coaster, and when things are going really, really well, they sometimes have a tendency to get way too high, and then when things are not going so well, and maybe they're struggling to get you know, base hits, or maybe they're slumping a little bit, then all of a sudden they get down in the dumps, and you know, they, they feel like they're the worst player on the planet, and either one of those extremes is something that you wanna avoid. You wanna try your best to remain pretty much even keel, no matter how good or how bad you're performing at the plate. So treat each at bat as its own entity. That's what I want you to focus on. And really what I'm getting at here is it's about compartmentalizing each and every single at bat. So you're not worried about your previous two at bats, whatever happened, good or bad, and you're also not worried about the next two at bats, or you're not worried about what you have to do in the next three or four games in order to hit you know, XYZ batting average the rest of the year. Right? You're not worried about next at bat, you're not worried about next game, you're not worried about the championship game. If you win the next three games, you could potentially get to the championship game. No, the way you get there is you, you get there by worrying about right now. So play the game one pitch at a time and treat each at bat as its own entity. Because here's what happens, right? Hitters, you know, they might come up their first two at bats and start off the game 0 for 2. And what a lot of hitters tend to do is all of a sudden they ride that emotional roller coaster and they nosedive with their emotions and they let those previous two failures affect their next at bats. And so they wind up 0 for 4 on the day because they just couldn't handle it mentally. All right. And so if you fail your first two at bats, what you got to do is number one, you do have to learn from that failure. So it's not just, I'm not just telling you, okay, you're 0 for 2, just flush it and move forward. I think that's a common mistake. It's kind of like if you fail a math test, right? You, you got pretty much everything wrong on the math test. You can't just say, ah, flush it and move forward, flush it, move on to the next test. No, you gotta figure out what you did wrong and you gotta learn how to do it correctly and you gotta make adjustments. But after you've figured out what you're, you've done wrong and you figure out the adjustments that you're gonna make moving forward, then you forget about it and flush it because there's nothing you can do to go back and change that, okay? So same thing with hitting. If you start off the game 0 for 2, Learn from your failure. Learn, was it something that, that I did or did not do with my mental approach? Was it a vision issue? What was the issue that, that caused you uh, to start off the game 0 for 2, right? So think about why you failed and make the necessary adjustments and then flush it because you got a fresh at bat, right? And you've got a new opportunity in front of you right now. And on the flip side, if you start off the game 2 for 2 with two home runs or you know a home run and a double in the gap, a lot of the times, hitters also tend to throw away their next two at-bats because they think about, well, hey, I got two hits today already, and even if I go 0 for 2, my next two at-bats, right, 2 for 4 on the day, that's pretty good. 
And so what they're not accounting for is later on in the season, you're gonna have those 0 for 3, 0 for 4 days, and it certainly would be nice if you could get three hits instead of two today, or four hits instead of two today, right? And so what we're really getting at here with treating each at bat as its own entity is good or bad, we're trying to throw away as few at bats as we possibly can, okay? The less at bats that you throw away, the better off you'll be. So when you have success, your first two at bats, or you're one for two or whatever, and you're feeling good, you know, your, your body feels physically really solid today, and you've got that confidence, right? Well, use that confidence that you've just earned by your first two at bats, bring that confidence to the plate with you, right? Bring that, that, that feel good energy to the plate with you, but realize that yesterday's home runs don't win today's games, right? Or what you did your previous two at bats has no effect on what you do now. Or you could have started off the game, you know, two for two and that's great, but maybe your team's gonna need you in the bottom of the ninth to get another base hit or, or uh, you know, execute a job at the plate in order to help your team uh, win the ball game, right? And so treat each at bat as its own entity. You don't wanna ride this emotional roller coaster of getting way too high or way too low. You wanna to try to remain even keel and then, hey, if you failed, so what? Move on to the next pitch after you've learned and made adjustments from your previous failures. And hey, if you succeeded in your last at bat or your last two at bats, use that as fuel, use that to, to give you a little confidence boost. But remember, it's all about playing in the present moment, treating each at bat as its own entity, and really walking up to the plate each and every single at bat with a consistent approach. If you enjoyed this video, then I know you're gonna love the brand new free hitting lesson I put together for you. And inside, I'm gonna reveal seven of the worst hitting tips out there that actually cause more harm than good for hitters. Because believe it or not, some of the most popular hitting tips that you've been taught actually cause more strikeouts, more pop-ups, and weaker contact at the plate. And that ultimately destroys your confidence and your success as a hitter. I know you wanna avoid that. I know you wanna hit the ball harder further and more consistently than ever before. And this free hitting lesson is gonna help you do that. I know you're gonna love it. So all you have to do is just click on the link down below in the description. I'll also leave that link down in the pinned comment. So go ahead and click that right now. It's 100% free and I can't wait to see you there. Oh, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already joined the UBT family and leave a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. All right, see you in that free hitting lesson. Go ahead, go.